Next Patreon exclusive series. What does exclusive mean? It's only on Patreon, but episode one will be shown on YouTube as a demo. Simply win it in a YouTube community poll and we can upload it here too. But we got our newest Patreon exclusive series. This is called Chunibyo. Love, delusions, and other bullshit. A lot of people say like this is like a iconic anime. I have seen that girl with like the eye patch, and maybe this is supposed to be like the origins of how like Chuni girls, you know, existed from the beginning of time in anime. You know, the Chuni is like acting as if you're kind of it's kind of cringe, right? You're like like Megumi from Konosuba. Like you're trying to be like all special and be like, oh, I'm grade eight, but the seal of my eye is preventing you guys from dying. Oh, stuff like that. Is it actually going to be that good? Let's begin today's reaction. Literally eighth grader syndrome. Yeah, I guess eighth grade. I mean, for me, we didn't have like middle school and high school. We just went from like grades. Like elementary school was like kindergarten to seven, and then high school was eight to 12, right? But you know, you get in there, it's like middle school or high school for you. Hormones are coursing through you. You're in a new environment. Everyone's trying to size each other up, you're trying to like survive in the fucking wilderness that is like high school or middle school, right? And trying to, trying to like, Pretend like you are someone you're not. You're trying to seem cool, right? But to Bunch of fraud. Basically, Chunibyo syndrome sounds like, again, just like a bunch of like 8th graders realizing... Uh, they're just all LARPing and role-playing, trying to like find their sense of identity. They're just all fucking cringe and trying to like figure themselves out. Look at that sword, bro. Dark flame. Amazing. Yeah, and then you grow up, right? Then you start, your brain starts to develop a little bit more. Your prefrontal cortex starts to realize that shit. I might just be fucking cringe, man. But still, it's core memories. No matter how cringe it is, you gotta just accept it. It's who you are and you move on. Everyone deals with it. Now here's our girl. It's a lot of gear. Okay, this guy throwing out all his tuny gear. Does she live above him? This is dangerous. If, ow! Literally kicked us in the face. Oh, careful, girl. What are you doing? Hey. That eye patch. There's no reason for that, right? There's no medical function. There's no utility for this eye patch other than just sealing her right eye of destruction from the masses, right? Panties? No, he didn't actually. No panty shot. Bro, even at nighttime, wind kun is ready, bro. It's just like you wanna see, boom, cherry blossom getting hit by wind. And she's gone. Like Batman. Oh, it's actually not that far. <laughs> I thought they were like fucking many, many, many like floors up, but like this is only fucking ground floor. She's in the first floor, is the second floor. She's good. she's going fine. <laughs> Does Chunibyo have like all openings and endings too? Uh, maybe we should cover this on a separate video? I promise I will. Surely I'm not gonna bait and not do it. Ah, I'm gonna skip it. I, I, I wanna do all Chunibyo opening ending reaction. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that on a different day. We will. No, Kuzuha. What's your He's a normie now. No more Chuni. The demon sword. Yeah. Back then. Did she record anything? Mom and sister. Interesting how, like, I thought that the perspective is gonna be from that Chuni girl, but like, Immediately, we're just thrown into the perspective of this guy who used to be Chuni, right? And is no longer Chuni and is trying to be Normie. And got introduced to their whole family, too. <laughs> Encounter with the <laughs> wicked eye. <laughs> First day high school. 
So I guess he's gonna be the straight man. Maybe not the straight man necessarily, but this is a guy who used to be Chuni, has now realized that it's cringe and it's been normie now. But the other girl, he's gonna just be super Chuni even in the high school and romp com will ensue. <laughs> that hair clip is an interesting position. Oh, there's her again. Yo, I pass girl. What the way she went? She got a rope to like climb down. For what? At night, like where did she go after that? Probably do some dumbest shit. She probably did that and then went back home inside. For some chuny experiment, because like I wanted to feel like I'm running away from home with the rope. And then immediately after she did that, nice. Alright, that's what it feels like to fucking climb down a rope and then just went back home immediately. Open! Yo, I think she got powers. <laughs> I, 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 I think that she may have some special powers, bro. I think that the eye patch really does need to seal her powers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. <laughs> She's so proud of it, too. Bro, you're gonna be late. <laughs> Is this a kill any anime? Because so far, the production value... Just, I know it's only been like 5 minutes and 51 seconds of the anime, but like, and there's been an opening section that doesn't include all that, but like, the production value is fucking amazing, bro. Like, damn, the polish so far, like... Okay. So no one would know his past. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking flutter with the cape. <laughs> you dare ask what my name is? Uh, Yuta, can you just say your name and sit down real quick? We're we're getting behind schedule. <laughs> that was a middle school intro, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he has the whole thing memorized still, bro. It's still within him. He got it, bro. The whole fucking line. Sealed. Did anyone see that? Oh, Chuni girl saw it. She saw it, bro. Yo. Don't worry about it. Why would you say that? Are you your secret? First friend. Yuta and Makoto. What girls are you in here? Oh shit, it's the hair club girl. She's the most popular. Okay. The number one popular girl. Oh. Hey. She saw our dark flame fucking intro, bro. And now she's compelled. I think that she's found the kindred spirits. Oh. I don't know her. I do not know her. Go away. I don't know her. Why are you doing this to me right now? Come on. Come on. I literally picked a different school like two hours away so no one could fucking find me. And you're gonna fucking rope me into your chuny bullshit? Ain't no fucking way. The wicked eye. <laughs> the role play. <laughs> yeah, she does. Yo, stand us in the hospital. Nurse. Nurse. You're gonna think it's our problem? What? <laughs> Everyone's in unison. <laughs> Everyone is in fucking unison. Yeah, yeah, take her out, bro. You, you're, you're the chosen one. Yes. Synchronized. There's nothing wrong with it. No, wait, you can't open the seal like that. It's the wicked eye containing all her dark secret forbidden powers. Roleplay. It? 
Are we reincarnations? Have we met in a different life before in the past? Oh my god. Okay. What the fuck are you drinking that for? It's the cult of darkness, guys. Bullshit. <laughs> she literally just made an excuse to not expose her fucking wicked eye. The eye drop. Ooh, it's the work of the cult of darkness. Okay. Okay. This is heavy lore, man. Holy shit, I, sh I should be taking notes. Who's the enemy? <laughs> Who are our ops? What are we training for? Can you tell us? The Cult of Darkness, that's who. Dark Freema Master. She loved that line, bro. She literally saw that line and was like, yo, he is the chosen one. He's just like me. For real, for real. I saw you. Clairvoyance. Wow. Level 7 warlocks? <laughs> she getting dizzy. <laughs> Loki, this is just abuse now. You just spun her around and just bonks her head with this. I feel bad. Come on, man. <laughs> Yo, Dark Flame Master, this is fucked up. You're just making her blind now. You're just bullying her. Ethereal Horizon. Yo, we need to fucking hit up any news and check out the cut content because there's so much fucking lore here, bro. This is beyond fate. Fate Zero threw around some fucking key buzzwords like Reality Marble, Angry Mango. Fucking origin shit, like, I'm not following any of this shit. We need to cut content. Yes, I'm a normie. <laughs> she can clairvoyance, right? She, she understands level 7 or warlocks and beyond. Level 8? No, no, we're level 0. We're retired. Oh. He might be level 8 at Warlock, bro. What the fuck was all that, bro? Did you see that? His movement there? That's not a normal human, bro. You gonna tell me that's not some Warlock shit? I saw some powers right there. Yeah. Give me a peek. Yeah, I want to do the same thing that we did to Megumi when we first saw her. Remember how Kazuma just like peeled the shit back? And then psh, it just smacked her, bro. Oh shit, it's happening. The soundtrack is so hype, bro. I mean, it's glowing. The wicked eye, it's good. And unless she has heterochromia, I don't know. What? what, what? How, how, do, how do you explain the fucking shine, bro? <laughs> it's real. The wicked eye is real. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fraud. Fraud. What was it? Contact lens? Why was it golden shining? How'd you do that? Where'd it go? <laughs> put, 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 put what back in? Your wicked eye? You tell me your wicked eye is a fucking insertable thing? You mean you don't originally just have your right eye as a wicked eye? Okay. Yeah. Inside you. Contract? Contract? No, we, we were connected in the past lives too. We're newly reincarnation, and now we're soulmates. Alright, bye. There's no way she's the one giving the speech, right? There's no way she's a valedictorian type of person, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the hair pluck though. It's the popular girl. Wonder what kind of girl this will be. Imagine she's actually Chuni too, secretly. That's the biggest fucking twist of it all. The most popular girl is actually just like us. Nah, she has to be a normie, right? 
新入生代表なのかうんビジネスパーフェクトじゃあ自己紹介も終わったので今日はこれで解散にします家に帰ってきちんと確認してくださいね The voice actor for the teacher is just a fucking milf voice actor bro Oh my god 確認してくださいね Alright sensei よよトガシこの後時間あるかかって話して Yeah let's go for lunch えそれ Wow friendship そそって That's great Before he used to eat alone No mom I'm a sigma male Okay I choose to eat alone at school Okay I don't need friends They don't understand the sigma grussel Okay Those kids just don't understand What a dark flame master must endure But I'm not going to say anything Why? Ah Maybe you said that 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 No No Oh, she's talking to the teacher. <laughs> well, if you know, being Chuni was a bad branding to have, now they're gonna think that he's gay. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But amongst these kind of kids in Japan, I'm not sure if he's gonna like that. Okay. Alright. Uh oh, she says something to the teacher, bro. Uh -oh. oh, she's new here too. And that's another thing too. She's new here, but she also like lives like right above us. But we intentionally chose a school that's so fucking far away because we didn't want other people knowing us due to our middle school chuni past. And yet she's intentionally coming here. Why is it just a chance, just randomness? Did she have something similar too? And thought that maybe she can be Chuni here again and it's gonna be fine? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Same building. The rope, remember? The Ahoge is tingling. Oh? She got a big sister. <laughs> okay. She also Chuni. I mean, I don't know if this is her perception or if Toka is also just like role playing with her. I don't know. Maybe she's a nice sister that's just playing along with the little sister. Powerful sorceress. Wow. <laughs> big sister buff. Little sister can't do anything to big sister. That's the lore. Rika? Oh. We can beat the big sister? Wait, wait, wait. Is the wallet being lost a fucking lie? Hold up. What are you talking- Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you just- Was the wallet shit a lie? She just wanted a dark flame master to help beat the powerful sorceress? Huh? Oh, Hell Slayer! <laughs> Judgment Lucifer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Dude, that, 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 that's pretty cool. She even had a whole running start and the whole pose right there, right? Judgment oh, that's what. Oh, she has Heelys on. Oh my god, that's what that animation was. She was like moving forward. I'm like, what's happening? She literally has Heelys on. Holy shit. I'm not gonna lie. If I saw her at middle school and I saw her with the Heelys, I, I think that she's the coolest kid ever. Bro, Heelys were the coolest shit ever. Now, I don't know what the ladies really thought about boys with Heelys, but amongst the men, right? Back then, bro, you had Heelys. It's like, damn, where'd you get those? And you just fucking slide in and be like, <laughs> What's up, losers? I have Heelys. Cool. Amazing. <laughs> salary man got so fucking scared there. This poor ass man, bro. This like 35 year old tired salary man just wants to go home after being overworked by fucking Studio Mappa. And now this girl just popping off. Honestly, this is actually so dangerous, bro. At a train station, you're just rolling around like this. You could easily fall into the fucking train track. Oh. <laughs> Alright. She has no social anxiety. 
She might be the most extroverted person if she just does this shit. I don't know. I feel like she's just super giga chad. <laughs> The train's going. <laughs> the train, though. Uh, it, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Superior drink. Mr. Peter, sorry. Not Dr. Pepper. Mr. Peter. <laughs> oh, lucky. <laughs> Looks like it worked out at the end of the day. She knew what she was talking about. This is the second train now that we missed. Thank through a chuny shit, bro. One in the morning and one right now. <laughs> she did. She was shocked there. No, no, no. no. She, she was shocked. Look. Freeze, right? <laughs> Shameless. Beetle movers. She's so cute, bro. She clings onto his backpack and it's like a free ride on her heelys, bro. She's great. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. The Beatles Overseer's interference is what she was doing when she got off the fucking rope, right? Overseer's interference. What were you really doing outside? <laughs> oh, I think the Overseer's interference she's talking about also, he just, he just casually abusing her again, losing so many fucking brain cells. I think that like, this isn't like last night. This is like what we just did today, and that's why she wasn't there to pick it up. What the hell is this shit, bro? She just has a bunch of relics? I don't know. It looks like shit you would use to fucking summon heroic servants in Fate. ガラクタじゃないだろうな。お兄ちゃん、私を必要的なものもある。ぐんぐにる。ぐんぐにる。ちょっと。ワンモアタイム。しばらくしろと。ナイス、ワンモアタイム、ワンモアタイム。リリー
One person believes bro. Don't give up, Dark Flame Master. I think that while, yeah, it is cringe and, you know, doing all that shit in public and being made fun of is probably bad and you can't really get accepted with the in-group. But at the same time, someone has shown up that is just like you, you know? I feel like you should accept who you are deep inside. If it's who you want to be, you finally found someone to kind of like share that with somebody. And this time, who cares what other people think? You have that one person who sees you for who you are. It's about like accepting who you are and not thinking about what other people may perceive you because at the end of the day, what do you really care about? There it is. It's back. One more time. Yo, this soundtrack with the rain in the background. Huh. Aww. The life came back in her eye. That's too sweet. And not maybe because of the weather, but because we have this new girl who's gonna be with us and share this hobby of being chuny. Alright, is there a post credit scene? No, it's just a fucking fat credit roll. Holy shit, bro. They just fucking stacked the fucking credits at the fucking end, eh? But that is today's episode of Chunibio. And man, I mean, it's a QAnnie product, right? If I know anything about QAnnie, it's that it's going to be fucking polished. And yes, the production value is amazing, but it's not just the production value, right? Or the soundtracks or just everything around it. The story itself... I didn't know what kind of show was going to be. Like, I didn't even think that we're going to be having, like, the main character, Togashi, be kind of, like, the driving force with the Chuni girl kind of being on the side and them interacting together. It's a pretty interesting setup. A kid who used to be super Chuni but kind of gave that up versus a girl who is still being Chuni. A very interesting thing is how she moved here but then chose the school that's so far away that Togashi intentionally chose because, you know, he didn't want to have his old middle school friends find him, you know, at the high school. Not sure what that's really all about. Even though, you know, Yuta wasn't... couldn't go hang out with the other friends, I feel like it's fine, you know? We might not be in that social group, but I feel like we might have a potential girlfriend. And yes, people might think that we're fucking cringe, but at the end of the day, this story should not about... it should be not about, like, rejecting this stuff to adapt and mold to the roles that you're expected to play in society, but rather, who cares what other people think as long as you and the people you love are enjoying yourselves? Who cares? I hope it's that kind of theme. This is a great episode. That's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.